Making phrasal verbs clear. A journey through verb nuances. Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss an exciting yet often confusing topic in the English language. Phrasal verbs. More specifically, we are going to delve into the nuances of phrasal verbs and their single word counterparts. This session will help you to better understand how to maintain the same meaning and tone when you replace phrasal verbs with single word verbs. Let's start at the beginning. Phrasal verbs are verbs that combine with prepositions or adverbs. For example, to put off or to check out. In contrast, single word verbs are verbs that stand alone, such as postpone or inspect. The key point here is that, often, phrasal verbs and single word verbs can mean the same thing but the nuance, or subtle difference in meaning and tone, can vary. Now let's delve into understanding these nuances. Phrasal verbs are generally more informal and conversational. They're widely used in spoken English, casual writing, and in less formal settings. On the other hand, single word verbs often appear to be more formal and are typically used in written English, especially in academic texts or formal correspondence. Now that we understand the nuances, let's look at some examples. We'll replace phrasal verbs with single word verbs while maintaining meaning and tone. For example, the phrasal verb, put off, can be replaced with the single word verb, postpone. Phrasal verb, I have to put off our meeting until next week. Single word verb, I need to postpone our meeting until next week. Notice how the meaning remains the same, but the tone becomes more formal when using postpone instead of put off. Let's try another one. Phrasal verb. Please check out this report when you can. Single word verb. Please review this report at your earliest convenience. Again, the meaning is the same, but review sounds more formal than check out. We hope this session has helped shed some light on the nuanced differences between phrasal verbs and single word verbs. It's not just about the words we use, but also how we use them that influences the meaning and tone of our communication. Remember, practice makes perfect. So keep practicing, and soon enough, understanding these nuances will come naturally. Thank you for watching, and happy learning.